All actors have a special gift with the ability to hide behind a character. Voice actors are able to go one step further by masking their physical appearance to become someone completely different. Disney has created countless beloved characters for generations, but viewers may not realize that many characters were voiced by the same actor. Here are 10 actors you didn't know voiced more than one major Disney movie character. Oh, hello. Sterling Holloway as Cheshire Cat and Winnie the Pooh. Cheshire Cat and Winnie the Pooh were voiced by Sterling Holloway. The actor was one of the original voice actors hired by Walt Disney. His credits expand far beyond the two characters, but Cheshire Cat and Winnie the Pooh may be his most beloved work in his 60-year career. Is there honey in that pot? 1951's Alice in Wonderland, based on Lewis Carroll's novel, showcased Holloway as the devious feline who insists on confusing Alice in the mysterious land. Holloway also played the similarly mischievous Ka from Disney's The Jungle Book. He was then given the role of Winnie the Pooh in the 1960s. He continued the role in The Many Adventures of Winnie the Pooh until 1977. Pooh's rumbly tumbly and bumbly persona may seem like a completely different character for Holloway, but he defined the role as others only impersonate the sound he created. Whoa, 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 whoa. Catherine Beaumont as Alice and Wendy. Catherine Beaumont was only 12 years old when she was discovered by Walt Disney and given the role of Alice in Alice in Wonderland. Her youthful voice lent an innocence that could not be easily feigned by an older actress. Goodness! What did I do? <laughs> when Walt was casting the role of a similarly positive young girl who ends up in a magical land, he looked no further than Beaumont for the role of Wendy Darling in 1953's Peter Pan. The two characters don't just sound similar, they also have a nearly identical face, as the animators based the characters on the small featured actress. Catherine Beaumont was pleased to be a Disney legend, and showed that appreciation by voicing the two characters until 2005 for television specials and video games. After that, she retired, and a younger actress stepped into the petite shoes of Alice and Wendy. <gasps> Verna Felton as the Fairy Godmother and the Queen of Hearts. It may be hard to believe that the person who played Cinderella's kind and generous godmother also played the villainous Queen of Hearts in Alice in Wonderland, but actress Verna Felton voiced both greatly contrasting women. Felton was an actress born in 1890, so by the time she was playing two of Disney's most recognizable characters, she was already a seasoned actress in radio, film, and television. Just like most of the actors who worked for Disney, she was given many roles throughout her time working for the famous Mouse. Her ability to play the gentle fairy godmother with genuine believability did not exactly typecast her, as she was given the role of the nasty Queen of Hearts one year later. Providing memorable voices was a family affair, as Felton's husband actor Lee Miller was the voice of Pluto. Get up, you idiots! I see. Bill Thompson as Smee and White Rabbit. Smee is Captain Hook's first mate and practically his personal assistant, so it may not come as a surprise that the actor who played him also voiced the White Rabbit. Just as Smee supports Hook even at his most demanding, the White Rabbit's first instinct is to ensure the Queen of Hearts comfort at every turn, even when she requires outlandish things. Bill Thompson was a vaudevillian and radio actor when he began working with Disney. He started performing in shorts voicing Droopy Dog. Just like many of the characters who are voiced by the same actor, there is a resemblance to White Rabbit and Smee, even though one is a neurotic rodent who has issues with being tardy. They are both short, stout, and eager to please. Eleanor Audley as Lady Tremaine and Maleficent Two of the most wicked antagonists to Disney princesses are Cinderella's evil stepmother Lady Tremaine and Aurora's insanely bitter godmother Maleficent from Sleeping Beauty. Their similar devilish demeanor and chilling voices are from actress Eleanor Audley. Audley worked in television, film, and radio for years before obtaining the roles. She initially turned down the role for Maleficent due to her battling tuberculosis at the time, but she was made for the role. The animators based both characters on the actress, as it was common to dress the model in the character's attire to get a realistic design. The malevolent evildoers were not the only voice Audley did for Disney. She can be heard to this day as Madame Leona, the psychic spirit in the Haunted Mansion attraction at Disneyland and Disney World. Bobby Driscoll as Goofy Jr. and Peter Pan Bobby Driscoll was one of the first child actors to receive a contract with Disney in the 1940s. He started out in the live-action film Song of the South. In 1952, the 15-year-old Driscoll was given the voice of Goofy Jr. in the classic Disney short Father's Lion, in which Goofy and his son go on a hunting trip. Younger viewers may be more aware of Goofy's son, Max, from a Goofy movie, but it was Father's line that introduced the silly dynamic of Goofy and his son. Driscoll scored his most memorable role a year later as the maturity-stunted boy, Peter Pan. Bobby was also the model for Peter. Unfortunately, Driscoll's fame came at too early of an age, and he was unable to maintain his success. He died from an overdose at the age of 31, as he was a truly lost boy. Jodie Benson as Ariel and Barbie Ariel is a teenage mermaid who just wants to be part of our world, which requires feet, but apparently not much talking. Barbie is a Mattel creation that became part of Andy's toy crew. The two characters share a bubbly disposition and struggle unnaturally on the legs they are given. They were also both played by Broadway actress Jodie Benson. 
The Tony Award-winning actress began her career in the early 1980s. She crossed paths with someone involved with 1989's The Little Mermaid, so she decided to send in a demo of herself. After getting the part, she has continued to voice Ariel in films, television, video games, and specials. For the role of Barbie in Toy Story 2, Disney did not have to look far, as Benson was the ideal sound for the leggy blonde. Move it. Ooh. Hey! Right on the button! Phil Harris as Thomas O'Malley and Baloo. What do the sly and confident Thomas O'Malley from The Aristocrats, the carefree and lovable Baloo from The Jungle Book, and Robin Hood's right-hand bear, Little John, have in common? They were all voiced by comedian, actor, and jazz musician Phil Harris. A jazz musician playing the three Too Cool For School characters was the perfect fit. His voice became known for generations after not only playing the speaking voice, but also singing songs like The Bare Necessities and Everybody Wants To Be A Cat. After more than a decade without Disney, Harris recorded Baloo once again for the 1990 series Tailspin. Unfortunately, the producers decided his aged voice was not a good fit and replaced him with a sound like. Oh boy. Jimmy McDonald as Mickey Mouse, Chip, Dormouse, and Jacques. Jimmy McDonald was a man of many skills. He started out as the head of Disney's sound department. He was responsible for not only creating the sound effects, but also composed the music for some early Disney shorts. He began doing supplemental voice work for Snow White and the Seven Dwarves, but his big break into acting was becoming the new voice of Mickey Mouse in 1947. He remained the legendary mouse for 30 years. In addition, he was Chip of Chip and Dale, Jacques the Helpful Mouse in Cinderella, and the Sleepy Dormouse from Alice in Wonderland. His aptitude for voicing likable critters has cemented his position as one of the most versatile Disney employees in history. Barbara Luddy as Lady and Rue. Barbara Luddy played two dogs and two maternal guides. Lady is known to be the delicate and composed Cocker Spaniel who falls in love and has a memorable spaghetti dinner with a boisterous mutt in Lady and the Tramp. Then there is Rue's adoring mother Kanga who has a kind voice and sensible disposition. Actress Barbara Luddy played the two enduring characters and spent most of her career working with Disney. Along with Lady, she also voiced Rover from 101 Dalmatians. Using the same protective cadence she used for Kanga, she also provided the voice of Aurora's godmother Meriwether in Sleeping Beauty. Luddy started out as a vaudevillian actor and occasionally worked on television, but her Disney work remained her legacy. There's our list! What do you think? Which Disney voice actors did we forget? Let us know in the comments section below, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more great videos like this one. Thanks for watching!